Hey friends! My name is Desiree, aka Mama Friendly, and I do all sorts of things on this channel. I do hauls, I do vlogs, planner videos, cooking videos, and some of my favorite kinds of videos to do are lush videos. If any of these things sound like fun to you, I hope that you'll smash that subscribe button and join my little YouTube family. And today's video is one of my favorite kinds of videos, both to show you guys and to watch myself, and that's a Lush collection video. This will be my third year in a row doing this, and um, every year it just gets bigger and bigger. And so the first time I did it, it was two videos. Last year it was three videos, and I'm aiming to do the same this year. And in this last year, I also started doing empties videos, which I think is like a good way to kind of make this as complete as possible because right now you're seeing what I currently have, and I do my best to tell you guys like about scent families and how I like the products so far, etc. But then when I do the empties, you'll see what I did have and what I thought of the product after using the whole thing, would I buy it again, and so on. So in the description box of this video, I'm gonna post links to last year's collection videos, and then up here in the corner, I'll post a link to my empties video. It was my very first one, so who knows how they'll evolve from here on out, but just in case you wanna check that one out after you've seen this. So what I'm aiming to do this year is the same thing I did last year, which is I want to do a video that's all shower gels because I have plenty, enough to fill a whole video, I'm sure. Another video that's gonna be all bath products, so bath bombs, bubble bars, and the like. And then a third video that's kind of a catch-all miscellaneous. So that's gonna be where I show you guys my soap collection, lotions, shampoos, things like that. In the past, I've shown you all my knot wraps and my sand Samples, but um, that's kind of very repetitive because I don't buy too many knot wraps and as far as the samples I don't know do you guys really want to see that if you do let me know and I'll make another video I guess of just my samples I feel like my collection of samples has kind of dwindled down though because I'm making it a point to use them up in the last few months so that's why I figured it wouldn't be super interesting to include them in these videos with all that being said, there are plenty of shower gels to show you guys, and I actually thought I'd include the shower jellies in this video as well. So I guess this is like shower exclusive type stuff that you're gonna see right now. And so the things we're about to see, um, some of them, I dare say a lot of them, are out of date. Um, they're kitchen exclusives, or they're Lush Labs exclusives, community exclusives, etc. And some of them are just mainline products that I love and buy all the time whenever I'm running low. So you're gonna see a wide range of things. My aim this year, because we're hopefully going to be moving in the next few months, is to cut down on my collection as much as possible. Um, that might mean, depending on the product, using it up, or it might mean selling it. So, <laughs> I mean, not to turn this into like a, a spiel or anything, but if you see anything in these videos that you really, really are desperately in search of, let me know and maybe we can figure something out. I actually have a lot of Lush that I've been wanting to sell and I mention it all the time in my other Lush videos. I'm just like worried about how to ship them out because I wanna make sure that whoever buys them receives them intact and in like their best possible shape and so that bit has me a little bit apprehensive but um whatever that being said let's get into the collection right so i'm just gonna gonna go and order <laughs> the stuff i have on my table the first thing i have here is a little antiope or antiope naked shower gel it's my only naked shower gel and i've had it for many years so you've seen this in every single one of my collection videos so far i just keep slicing off the end here and taking just a slice into the shower so that the rest of it doesn't get hurt. And everywhere that I've read and seen and heard and people I've talked to, they've all said that this is a like one-off product and there's no scent family to it. But it reminds me a lot of ginger. I don't think it is ginger. It's not in the ginger family. But it is very woodsy and kind of weird to be honest like i feel like everybody has a very polarizing opinion of this one way or the other i don't know why they never brought it back and i don't know why there's nothing else in this scent family but if lush ever brought something back like this i I'd, I'd give it a go um i just realized there's a lot of stuff on this table and if i try to be that in depth with everything we're gonna be here all day so i'm gonna try to kind of 
flow through things as much as I can. So Santa's belly, so white scented, so it's apples. Um, I bought quite a few of these in 2019 and this is the last one I have left. So there you go. I really like this one. It does fall apart very easily though. Um, Jilted Elf Shower Jelly. I had never smelled this before I came through the kitchen. And I really, really love it actually. It's a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet. It's got um, ginger, cinnamon, figs, agave syrup. I, lately I'm finding that I'm very drawn to ginger scents, which is weird because I absolutely hate ginger, but there you go. Black Pearl Shower Gel. This was one of the community releases, I think, and it's a retro product. And this smells to me like blue fun. Oh my God, I absolutely love this one. It's chamomile and lavender, and it's just gorgeous. Um, again, this is one of those things that I hoard. Like this is not going anywhere. Um, and I wish that Lush would bring anything back in this scent because I'm obsessed. Calacas shower jelly. It's okay. <laughs> like, I like Calacas just fine, um, but whatever. It's not one of my favorites. This is kind of like a lime candy scent, and I actually have the shower gel somewhere. The lid broke, and I've got like barely any left. I'm basically just waiting to finish this so I could put the bottle in an empties video, I suppose. Um, but yeah, there's Calacas. We have Happy shower gel. Um, this smells like children's medicine to me. I really don't like it, so I'm just trying to get rid of it. Very, very frightening. I bought it mostly because I buy every shower gel that Lush comes out with because I really love Lush shower gels. And that's why I only have a smaller bottle because this is like my sample size. And if I love it, great, I'll buy more. And if I don't love it, then I'll just never buy it again. A lot of people seem to really, really like this one. It's a very fruity scent. And I usually like the fruity scents. For some reason, there's nothing really special about that one to me, so eh. Lord of Misrule Shower Gel. I actually have a big bottle, like a, what is this? This is a 16 ounce bottle of American Cream. I have a uh, this sized bottle of Lord of Misrule on the way. It should actually be arriving today, but I'm impatient and I didn't want to wait to have to film the video. Um, but Lord of Misrule is pepper, patchouli, and vanilla. Absolutely love this. And um, I've recently discovered that my husband loves it too, which is why I'm stocking up because it's becoming very hard to find. And so, yeah, Kato has decided to join me. So we've got American Cream, like I was showing you guys before, and this is vanilla, clary sage, lavender, orange juice, and strawberry juice. I don't smell fruitiness at all here though. This is mostly just a very powdery clean scent to my nose and I really, really like it, obviously, which is why I have a huge bottle. Deep Sleep Shower Jelly, I really hate so much that Lush stopped making this because it's just a very earthy, herbal, lavender scent. And I would buy literally anything that they make with this scent. There's still so much left on this table. Um, Slammer, okay, so this is a citrusy scented um, shower gel that came out in the kitchen subscription box very recently, actually. And a lot of these bottles I haven't really gotten to just because I have so many that it would take a long time to get through them all. Happy Hippie is mainline and it's like a grapefruit scent. This is one of my absolute favorites. Okay, next, Plum Rain, which I absolutely love and I really wish I'd gotten a big bottle of it before it became discontinued. Unfortunately, I did not, and so I'm kind of hoarding that one. Karma, this is one of my favorites. This is the tiny bottle we got in the kitchen recently. And I also have the bigger bottle that came out with the community favorites a couple years ago. I'm actually starting to use this one up now and not hoarding it anymore. Karma is one of my absolute favorite Lush scents, period. But I found out recently that it's going to become mainline in the UK. I think they're calling it something different. No, it's going to be called Good Karma, Everyone Needs It, or Good Karma, We Could All Use It, something like that, something ridiculously long and unnecessary. But um, yeah, so the fact that it's coming back and I'm gonna be able to buy a couple very large bottles if I want. Um, I feel like that gives me permission to go ahead and use up my older bottles. We have an Abominable Jelly. This is, I think, from the very first Lush subscription box, and it smells really nice. It's like a minty vanilla. I haven't actually used it yet, though, and it is leaking on everything. It actually kind of has a little bit of a toothpaste smell, but I don't hate it somehow. But yeah, it leaks on 
everything, like everything. And you can tell that it's been stored with this whoosh jelly because the whoosh is covered in it. Um, whoosh is mainline and it's one of my favorite scents as well. It's a very zingy, citrusy smell. And um, I wish they had more products in that smell. I think that in the last year, they did release a bubble bar. I forgot what that was called. They released a bubble bar in that scent, um, the light bulb. I forget what it was called. It might've been called the light bulb, but I really don't think so. But that was whoosh scented. And um, yeah, I wish they'd have a shower gel, honestly, because I prefer shower gels, but we just have to wait and see what uh, the minds at Lush decide to give us next. So we've got Super Tramp, and this was a kitchen release. And let me see, I'm trying to find. I've also got Tramp, which this was, I want to say it was a community favorites, maybe, release. And I think I have another one somewhere. Yeah, this one was from the original kitchen. So I paid way too much for this because this hadn't come out yet. And I really, really love like all of these scents because they're oak moss and patchouli. And then this one's got peppermint in it, but it's just extremely earthy green scents. And I A, love those types of scents. And B, realize that Lush rarely puts anything out like that. So whenever they do, I kind of go ape <laughs> and uh, and stock up while I'm able because I know that it'll be a long time before anything that I like that much comes out again. Speaking of earthy green scents, we've got grass shower gel. I think this came out in the in the kitchen as well. A tiny bottle. Yup, and I've got it right here. I didn't remember if I had skipped that box or not, but there you go. We've got two grass shower gels. And what are you? Twilight, very old, they don't make this anymore. This is supposedly the same scent family as Sleepy. Sleepy smells different to me though. I feel like this is brighter and sharper, whereas Sleepy is a little bit creamier and subtle. They're still very, very similar, but I can tell the difference. Speaking of Sleepy, I've got a tiny one right here and a very, very large one like this in my bathroom. That's actually my son's though. And the only reason I have this one is as a backup in case my son's runs out and I'm not able to replace it because if you don't know, right now Lush North America is having a tremendous issue with restocking and ingredients. And um, there's some talk through the grapevine that that might be permanent and they might end up shutting down because of the drama between the two owners. Whatever, it's a whole thing. I feel like I could make an entire video just about the lush drama that's going on right now. So, on to very old favorites. I'm like having to shake this because it's so separated and gross, but I love it. This is Yuzu and Coco Shower Cream. And if you've seen my lush videos before, particularly my collection videos, I meant, oh my gosh, oh, I love it. I mention all the time that I hate shower creams because they don't lather. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I have in my shower right now, I didn't bring out the stuff I have in my shower because it's in my shower. So um, that'll probably end up in the next empties video if anything, but I don't call it my collection stuff because it's getting actively used up. It's not something I'm collecting. Anyway, one of the things I have in my shower is a Santa's Christmas shower cream. And I absolutely love, love, love that scent. It smells like a flat Coke, basically. If you've never smelled it before, it's like flat Coca-Cola. And I am obsessed, but I hate, hate the product because I cannot get it to lather for the life of me. I've used like half the bottle in one shower only to get like the tiniest, most meager amount of bubbles. And then as soon as it gets to your skin, it goes bleh and just disappears. So um, I really don't care for the texture of shower creams at all, but I hoard this one because Yuzu and Coco is just not around anymore. And I really like the scent. Speaking of loving the scent, this is Sultana, which is in the Blackberry slash Sultana of Soap scent family. And it's just a really creamy, fruity, zingy scent to me. Oh, it's so nice. It smells very sophisticated and clean. And I feel like that's another something that Lush rarely has, to my nose anyways. 
Um, they tend to go for cloyingly sweet lately and citrus. Lots and lots of citrus, no matter what season we're in. So these more unique scents, I really gravitate to and um, I try to stock up whenever I can, but you know, they released this along with like seven or eight others all at once. And so I did my best to get one of each of the ones that sounded really appealing to me. And I would have loved to have gotten more, but you know, speaking of, this was another one that came out in that same release, if I'm not mistaken, Flying Fox. Talk about an acquired <laughs> taste. This is an extremely jasmine forward, honey scented shower gel or scent family, I should say, because there's many things in this scent family and I love it, love it, love it, love it. But I know as much as I love it, a lot of people hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Cause it smells like literal poop to them. And um, that's like a genetic thing. Luckily I'm not in that gene pool, I guess. But um, yeah, this is this has like five different types of honey in it. And then Jasmine, Alang Alang and Cypress oil. Mwah. Love it so much, which is why I'm hoarding it. Speaking of florals that I'm hoarding, here is Ghost. And this is Dove Orchid White Wine Vinegar. I never even realized that was in there. More Jasmine, Neroli, and Alang Alang. So again, very, very like heavy floral scent. And I love it. Um, this, when I first got it, I wasn't too sure about it because it does smell sort of like generic body wash in aisle 11. But when you use it, something develops in the shower and the scent lingers really, really nicely. Um, it kind of becomes more complex than you smell like straight out of the bottle. I really, really like this one a lot. Same can be said for Sex Bomb. Um, it's another floral, jasmine, rose, ginseng. You guys have noticed by now that I really like jasmine, yeah? And um, Sex Bomb, I think, was one of the original, original bath bombs like ever made and they're still selling it now but for a brief moment in time there was a sex bomb scented shower gel and so I picked one up it's about halfway through and I refuse to keep using it because I want to own it forever you see how this like hoarder mentality that lush instills in you is not great for someone in my situation that is trying to get rid of things I think I've said I'm hoarding this about 20 times so far snow cake not hoarding this one. <laughs> it's marzipan scented. So it's rose absolute and almonds and whatever. It's just very bland and subtle. It's not bad at all. It's a nice sweet smell. It's very almond basically, um, which I usually like, but I feel like Lush has made so many like much more incredible complex scents that this felt like kind of a like they phoned it in so whatever but i've got that i've got a tiny snow fairy that i'm trying to make my way through i will probably never buy snow fairy again because i'm up to here with snow fairy i've been using um snow fairy year round for like three years now because i bought so many in like 2019 and i'm just trying to get through them and yeah, so I'm, I think I'm good on Snow Fairy for a good long while. We're almost done guys, I promise. Sonic Death Monkey is one of my absolute favorites. I am obsessed. Unfortunately, so is my son. So he poured about half the bottle into one bath a few months ago. And since then, this has been living in my closet. I won't even take it out into the bathroom because I'm worried of what will happen if my son gets to it again. But it's a chocolate orange scent. And again, Lush rarely does anything with this scent for some reason, I don't understand because it's very, very popular as far as I know. But anything they come out with that is in that scent family, I will 100% buy, probably multiples of because I love it. Hot Toddy and Glog are both spicy, sort of wintry scents. Um, I'm showing them to you together because they are so extremely similar to me in every possible way that it almost seems silly to not. The only difference I can tell is that Hot Toddy has glitter and Glog does not, but they're both cinnamon, ginger, right? Does this one also have ginger? This one's cinnamon, clove, orange, the Glog, 
And then Hot Toddy says that it's more ginger forward, um, cinnamon, clove, orange, patchouli. Does this one have patchouli? This one does as well. So the only difference really that I can tell is that Hot Toddy has ginger in it and Glog doesn't. But they're extremely similar. I will definitely be using those up immediately because I'm not a huge fan. I like spicy scents, but I feel like these are not spicy enough. And also they're extremely similar and they were sent to us back to back in the kitchen, which is just kind of like, why? We literally just got like it's evil twin last month. Why are you sending us this one now? So maybe I just have like a thing against them, you know? Intergalactic. This recently came out in the Lush Kitchen. I think last month, as a matter of fact, I don't know because I didn't get the box on purpose, but this bottle is from the Community Favorites launch and it's just okay. Again, it's supposed to be extremely minty and it is, you know, minty, it smells minty enough, but I want my scents to like smack you across the face and I feel like intergalactic is too subtle a mint scent. So um, I was fine with not getting a second bottle in the kitchen and I'm fine with using this up and just never having it again. If they punched up the formula a little bit, then I'd reconsider, but mm. um, Got a new olive branch here. Olive branch is one of my favorites. It's actually my favorite main line. Well, now that Karma's main line again, I'm gonna have to reconsider that stance. But it's um, orange blossom basically. And I am obsessed with all things orange blossom. I really, really love this scent. And whenever I get around to using this little bottle, thank you traffic noise, I will 100% buy myself a big one. We have a ginger. And again, I used to hate ginger until very recently, but now suddenly I'm super into it. And this bottle is from last year's Mother's Day range. I just got myself a small one because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not. And by the time I realized I did, they weren't selling it anymore. And it did not come back this year, otherwise I would have bought another one. But um, yeah, there it is, very, very cute. Almost done, guys, I promise. I keep saying that, but it's really true this time. I've got a pot of gold shower jelly that came in a kitchen box. I'm actually actively trying to sell this and nobody will take it from me. Hey, buddy. Hashtag mom life. So we've got an avocado wash. So this is meant to smell like avocado co-wash and it's like a creamy lime cheesecake. I absolutely love this one, which is why I've been hoarding it for so long. Um, they recently came out with Avo Good Easter, which is an avocado shaped soap that smells like avocado wash. I love it so much. Of course, I picked one up and there's been murmurs that this might be coming back as mainline, but I've literally just heard one person say that and I don't know what their source is, so Take that with a grain of salt, but if it does come back, I'm definitely A, using this and B, stocking up on more. We've got some 29 High Street, both the Kitchen Gel and the Community Favorites Jelly. And this is Lush's like signature scent. They created this to smell like the store at 29 High Street, which is the pool location. And it's like just a mix of all sorts of different scents, mostly florals, some citrus, sandalwood, etc. Um, I really, really like it. This is one of those more sophisticated scents, I think. It's definitely more complex than a lot of the stuff that Lush oh, puts out sometimes, a lot of the time. And um, that's probably why I'm hoarding it. Again, you'd think their signature scent, there'd be more things, probably every sort of thing you should be able to get in this scent family, but you'd be wrong because Lush. Uh, Demon in the shower. So this is like mint and apple, which when I heard that I was like, why? <laughs> like who decided we need that? But while this does also have an extremely toothpaste smell, and again, for some reason, I really don't mind that. I don't know, beats me. Um, I really, really like it actually, and it, it works. And I feel like this is a mint that is much more effective at being mint than the intergalactic is. So this one has peppermint and spearmint, but it also has apple juice, gardenia, clove bud. And I don't know if those other things kind of help boost the mint smell behind everything, but whatever it is, it works. I really, really like this one. Saving like my three favorites basically for last, we've got Goddess. 
And there is a soap. I don't know if the bath bomb is still around, honestly. The bath bomb was the original goddess product. And then they made the shower gel for the community release a couple years ago, right? Yeah, this came out in 2019. And it's white tea, rose water, jasmine, uh-huh, <laughs> sandalwood, and oud, which gives it a really like woody smell. And the layers of florals with a tiny little bit of citrus in here somewhere. Maybe it's the tea that I'm smelling that gives me that, um, that sort of feel, but it's something that kind of is a little zingy and cuts through it and then that woodsiness, it's just a very layered scent. So I really, really like this. I have been using that one lately more often though. I don't know why, because there's no plans on the horizon to get more, but like I said, I'm on a journey. I'm trying to use my things up. Dear John is one of my absolute favorites. Again, Lush rarely puts out what would be considered masculine type scents. This is actually part of a Father's Day range, maybe two years ago at this point, yeah, from 2019. And I don't know why Lush um, refuses <laughs> basically to keep these sorts of scents in stock because they're my favorite kinds actually. Uh, coriander, clove, cedarwood, vetiver which is an extremely like pungent woodsy smell coriander seed clove bud yeah i mean i can't think of a better term i wish i could because i hate to gender a product but i can't think of a better word for this than masculine and um lush didn't come out with it last year they didn't come out with it this year or they won't come out with it this year for father's day and yeah so i've just got this tiny little bottle to get me through and the last thing, which is my favorite of all time, period, and I've only got the one bottle, is Guardian of the Forest. This is basically all oak moss all the time, 24-7 oak moss, and oak moss might be my favorite scent note, period. So to be completely transparent, it has oak moss. Cypress leaf, lime juice, cypress oil, lime oil, rosewood oil, oak moss absolute, moringa oil, whatever that is, and oak moss extract. Can't even get that out right, but there's three different versions of oak moss in here. So that gives you an idea of just how green, mossy, woodsy, earthy this is. And they've discontinued the bath bomb that this is based on. So now this is the only way that I can get my foresty oak moss fix. And that's why the bottle is almost entirely full and I won't touch it. So that's it, guys. <laughs> I feel like it took us forever to get here and I still have two more videos to record. Um, but yeah, that's all of my shower gels and shower jellies that I have in my collection right now. I'm trying really hard not to buy any more. However, I am in search of an Avo shower that just came out in the kitchen box, which if you haven't seen my last kitchen subscription unboxing, which really is my last for now anyways. I'll post the link up here. I canceled my subscription and um, that shower gel in particular, I don't have any experience with it, but I know that I love lemongrass. And so I'm looking for that one. And I know for sure that when the Father's Day range finally drops, which I think it's meant to come out on Thursday, well, this week, Thursday. Well, that's actually when you guys are gonna be watching this video, I'm not mistaken, hopefully. So, <laughs> um, I definitely wanna get at least a couple giant bottles of Rad Dad because it's supposed to smell like fresh as perfume. And that's a piney, just, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, definitely getting that as well. But otherwise, I'm trying really hard not to buy any more because I really wanna get through what I've got. So, now that you've seen everything in my collection, I'd love to know if you spotted any favorites and um, do you have maybe opposing opinions on <laughs> how I feel about these products? I'd love to start a conversation about it, so let me know in the comments. Lush is one of those things that I could just spend all day talking about, which may be a good or bad thing depending on who's on the other end of that conversation. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!